What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening, and tonight we will be discussing life path number eight. So now, if you do not know what your life path number is in numerology, you will need your date of birth. So you're going to add up your birth day, your birth year, and the month that you were born. You're going to add that up together. And then once you add it up, you're going to reduce it to its lowest form. Now, for some, it may be a master number. A master number is going to be if it's a 11, 22, 33, and 44. Okay, those are the master numbers. However, um, if you reduce it down to its lowest form, so say, for example, you have 69. You're going to reduce it down to its lowest form, and that will be your number, your life path number. Okay, so let's jump right into this. Life path number eight. This was a request tonight. Somebody wanted me to do this, so I am honoring the request. And I do know somebody with the life path number eight. So now these men and women, this is a karmic number. It is a karma number. And the life path number eight is very much linked to the planet Saturn. We know that Saturn rules over Capricorn and it also is its co-ruler will be Aquarius. So the eighth house. It is linked to and the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio so you are going to experience um, Mars and Pluto energy in your life in your life path so you're gonna have Saturn you're gonna have Mars and you're gonna have the Pluto energy within you so let's jump right into this life path number eight men and women these men and women have a powerful presence a powerful persona just moving around out into the world okay they want to be their own boss and they look at themselves as a boss they want to place their selves and have their selves in a powerful position in life this is what they seek out and this is what they want but now in this life these men and women are going to struggle with many obstacles a lot of hard times, a lot of difficult times are going to cross these men and women paths. Early on in life, they could have very well been placed by the universe in a home dynamic, a home setting where their parents were struggling to make ends meet. Okay, a lot of things could have uh, went on and took place where these men and women had to go straight into survival mode, especially in their... Um, early years they knew very early on that this life was going to be rough this life was going to be tough okay now that life path number eight is known to be a lucky blessed number in numerology okay they are very much ambitious determined and ready to take on problems when they arrive they know how to handle shit they know how to weather the storm they know how to climb those mountains. Um, like I said, they're going to experience many trials and tribulations in their life. A lot of difficult times is going to be placed in their life and they're going to have to deal. They're going to have to cope. They're going to have to persevere. So now one of, their life, one of their lessons in this life is to really just learn how to be given, how to be kind, how to be generous to somebody they have to give out great energy positive energy out into the world negative energy is not going to be uh, welcomed by the universe from them okay you have to understand that with this placement life path number eight you are ruled by Saturn Saturn is about limitations. It's about life lessons, karma, past life karma. It's about delaying things to you until later on in life. So, 
once you learn your lessons in this life, you're going to be blessed by the universe with an abundance of wealth, an abundance of a business, coming into your own and being these business men and women that you so much seek out and do desire. With this placement, these men and women, um, they do have a regal righteousness aura to them. And they really want to be in control of every situation around them. In a business, they want control. In a relationship, they want to be controlled. So these men and women can be very controlling. Even when it comes down to the family dynamic, these men and women want the ultimate control and they can run a tight ship. They definitely want things to go on a certain kind of way. Okay? Um, what they really seek out in this life is balance and tranquility. They want to have peace in their life. But they're so caught up in power. Okay? They're caught up with Obtaining that goal, being successful in life, okay? I do know somebody with this placement, and back in the days, they would always sing that song, I just want to be successful. I just want to be successful. And that person today is very much successful, came into a lot of wealth, came into a lot of money. You see what I'm saying? Because what these men and women are, and they may not know it, but you're going to know it tonight, that... They are manifestors. So whatever it is that they think in their mind and speak out their mouths, their mouths are very powerful. Their minds are very powerful. So whatever it is that they speak out their mouth, they can bring this to life. Okay? They manifest their own reality. So this is exactly why these men and women do need to um, think positive, speak positive shit out their mouth, not negative shit, because negative shit can be manifested just exactly that same damn way. So you got to be cautious with that if you have the life path number eight. Okay, uh, these men and women, okay, karma is very much linked to them. So depending on your good deeds in this life, okay, depending on the good deeds in your last life, <laughs> but in this life, Karma is very big for them. So they have to be careful. They have to be cautious. They have to be aware of their surroundings. Okay? A lot of times these men and women can go into business deals with people. And because they have that um, mind that they don't want people to uh, be out to get them, you know, they are going to look out for enemies, but they do have that mind that they wouldn't do that to you. So they don't want it to be done to them. So now a lot of times they don't expect it. And sometimes the shit can happen, though. Sometimes this very thing can happen, especially in business partnerships, uh, going into business with somebody, all right, taking that business adventure with somebody. It will definitely uh, sometimes come along with a trail. Somebody can... Um, Shiced you out of a deal, cut you out of a deal. Okay, you have to be cautious. Um, great wealth will definitely come these men and women way. All right, early on in life, it's going to be a struggle, their money will fluctuate. Okay, it will be up and down and up and down. They will receive the money, but just as fast as it's coming in, it can go out the same way. Um, they do need that balance okay really be able to um get to a point where they can figure out and know for sure exactly what money is all about okay they have a lot of lessons that they need to learn in order to um, master this area but they have strong willpower okay and they really had to deal with the storm the storm that came down, a black cloud was over these men and women heads for years, okay? Just making sure that they could survive, making sure that they could eat, making sure that they could provide for their kids even. You see what I'm saying? It's not just with them. It's about their surroundings also. They can be great leaders, people in high status positions. 
they can really run the show. These are the type of men and women that if they are on a job and they started off in a lower position, people at the job are going to want these men and women to run the company, be GMs, okay? Uh, be the manager. They could be a CEO in a business, you know, and just really have that control because it's something about them. They have an aura to them that really uh, demands respect and acknowledgement. And these men and women are going to get it in this lifetime. They just have to learn those lessons first, okay? Now, they can be very much um, materialistic, extremely ambitious, and on the lookout for hidden agendas, people that's up to no good and out to do them wrong, all right? They um, really do uh, seek these things out, draw it out in individuals very carefully, okay? You have to be careful with these men and women. Um, they can be very temperamental, okay? Because they do want control over their situations, over their households, in their relationships. They want shit to go a certain kind of way, okay? So, um, yes, you can get in confrontation with these men and women. Now... The best life path numbers for them would be life path number two, four, and eight, all right? This would be the best for them, very compatible, okay? And they are actually very similar to life path number four and life path number nine, very similar in nature. But now with this place with these men and women are very much uh, geared towards uh, being very much in control. They're about money, power, and respect. This is a big thing with these men and women. So now let's talk about their blessings and their lessons. So now their blessings are being very much successful, brave, in power, finances, and being determined. Okay? They're determined on whatever they put their minds to. They know how to Go get it because they are go-getters, okay? Being in a position of power. They want to be in full control. Success. They want this at all costs because they struggle so much. And what they really wanted early on in life was to just be successful and be able to just take care of whatever it is that they have to do for themselves and their loved ones, okay? And they're very brave. Okay, they have a lot of courage and a lot of willpower, a whole lot of strength. Okay, they done been through so much things, okay, that you couldn't even probably even imagine. But they seem to just still be able to maneuver and be able to really get into that groove of maintaining their bills. Okay, these are the type of people that if they don't have it, okay, they will um, eat oodles and noodles for fucking a whole week straight, okay, just to make ends meet because they know they got to save, they know they got to pay rent, they know they got to pay for their car, they know they have to do this. And even though they may want that steak, even though they might want that shrimp lobster, whatever, they know that if I do this for this amount of time, I could get this consistently and constantly. So they have that mind. And on top of having that mind, they have a business mind. Okay, these men and women can own their own businesses, run them very well, have people working under them, and do it the right way. Okay, now their lessons. Their lessons is going to be that they really need to be fair, kind, and generous. Okay, need to be honest. Okay, a lot of honesty. They have to be honest with themselves and other people. Also, with this placement, these men and women. They really do need to really um, balance out that energy to really want to um, step on other people's toes because they can do that also. They can um, push their way to the top by tumbling over others. But now that's going to be if they're on their lower vibration. If they're on their higher vibration and their higher frequency, they will not result to doing that. They will do things the right way. So now they have to be cautious because the life path number eight is geared towards 
a karmic number and karma. So what goes around comes around. So if they do bad shit and they're putting out a lot of negative energy out into the world, it's going to come back on them, okay? And they do not want that. So their lesson is to be kind, generous, gentle, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be direct and they're going to be blunt because they don't beat around the bush. But they need to really take other people's feelings, thoughts into consideration when it comes down to everything. Okay. Now, the number eight in general is very much uh, linked to the infinity symbol. Okay. It's a very powerful number. And it's also linked to the Akasha records. All right. Please keep that in mind. Very powerful number. These men and women, they do seek out justice out into the world, okay? They want things to be a certain kind of way. They want everybody to uh, live a certain kind of way. They don't like seeing um, people being beat down. They don't like seeing people being taken advantage of. This is definitely going to be where these men and women will step up and speak out. Okay, you can even see these men and women probably going on social media and posting things about things that go on in the world because they don't like it and they want other people to see it and recognize it and not like that shit either. Okay, yeah, they are leaders. They're leaders. So that's what they're going to do and that's what they are about. But they really need to understand the value of money and what money is all about so that they can um, really fully just uh, receive it completely. And be able to maintain it, be able to save it. But they need to know that um, even though they believe that money is power, okay, and they believe money is a tool for power and respect and all of that good shit, they need to know that um, money is an exchange of energy. Okay, it's an exchange of energy. It could be wicked energy and it could be um, good energy. So they need to bring out the good, not the evil. Okay, that's a lesson. <laughs> that's a lesson. Also, these men and women are very much survivors. Okay, um, they have high standards. They know how to work on a job and rise to the top. These are the type of people that could start from nothing. And... But now they got a whole lot of shit and people are amazed and people are wondering how. All right? They also can start their business from the ground up. Okay? They can start it from the ground up. Starting with nothing, just a little bit of money and building it. Now it's here. Now it's there. Now it's there. And now it's global. These men and women have these abilities, okay? Very much gold-orientated men and women, okay? This is their drive. This is what they get towards. Now, if you betray them, if you cross them, if you uh, make them feel any way like that, these men and women will cut you off, okay? They will curse you out. They will verbally abuse you, okay? Go off on you, and then they will cut you off because... Um, they hold with inside of them um, a lot of uh, peace, okay? They want peace. They don't want destructive shit, okay? They want things to be done right. They don't want people to take advantage of them because they would not do that. And if they would, they are on their lower vibration, okay? But when they're on a higher vibration, this shit is not accepted. This shit is not wanted and it's not welcome, okay? They will cut you off, especially if it has to do with um, dealings of the business, okay? Going into business with somebody, if somebody crushed you, going into business with somebody and they betrayed you, cut you out of shit, act like you um, wasn't supposed to get what you were supposed to get and you was putting them on, oh yeah, they cutting your ass off so you ain't even got to worry about that. You ain't got to call their phone, call their number, ever the fuck again, okay? Now the colors, the colors for these men and women is pink and rose, all right? And their stone is rose quartz stone, okay? This can definitely uh, smooth out their energy, balance them out, okay, to a T. And it can also bring them great wealth and abundance, okay? 
they're good at being great salesmen and women. They know how to speak. Okay, they know how to take action and they know how to provide. They know how to do it. So now, they can be very persuasive because they know how to get what they want and they will get what they want. And it just might take some time. Now, once they're sad and returns to about the age of 30 to 35, this energy is going to be um, easier for them to deal with. Yes, problems will arise. Things will go on, but they will be able to master this. They will be able to maneuver very well, okay? They know how to do it. Now, the um, fields that they would do great in would be business owners, psychologists, CEOs, bankers, investors, okay? Anything that has to do with that. These men and women know how to go out there and get it. They can go from rags to riches, okay, very quickly, but it will take time, it will be obstacles in their way, it will be mountains that they have to climb, but it will happen for them, so I'm going to leave that on this note for now, and in future videos to come, I will go into more detail, more depth into this life path number eight, so be sure to check out my online store. It is Grimy Gear at www.grimygear.com. If you need a caterer, be sure to hit me up. I am the Chef Goddess also at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. If you need my husband to do any work to your home, swimming pool, or business, he got you. And you can hit him up at aronnesbit 90 at gmail.com. If you need me to analyze your birth chart, break it down so you can fully understand and grasp, it will be. $70. If you need a compatibility chart, synastry chart, or a composite chart, it will be $90. So this has been a force of nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.